I'm going to show you how I reduce the camera shakes in my videos during edit to stabilize the video. By running these experiments, I found out that it was actually possible to manually edit out the camera shakes. The technique consists of zooming into a smaller portion of the video and drawing a box around it and then selecting that portion over several frames. You may end up moving the box around the video to make it look like it was stable. Do be careful how much you move around the video and make sure the portion you have selected does not move out of the video or get clipped. In my first experiment, I made a video with extreme camera shakes of myself and clipped my head out of the video. It was difficult to select my face because part of it was blurred during movement and I could not pinpoint where the top of my head was because of the lighting. Camera shakes can be sideways, towards the left or right, forward and backward which appears like a slight zoom in and out and the rotation of clockwise or anti-clockwise movement. With Filmora 10, I could not correct for rotation. I could correct for sideways motions to the left or the right, or up and down. And some zooming in and out could be corrected by making the head size the same in every frame. I used pan and zoom feature in Filmora 10 because I was trying to smoothen out 2 to 3 seconds of the video or longer period of the video. If I was just doing one clip, one frame at a time, then I would just do a crop. This is a sideways motion of my face. So if I just zoomed into my face, then it would look more stable and no one would see that the room was moving side to side. This is the crop version and you can see that extreme camera shakes have been reduced a lot. After this I decided to focus on real camera shakes and adjust the picture frame by frame. This is a sample of a real camera shake. This time I just did a crop of the video a frame at a time. My camera shutter speed was 1 50th of a second and Filmora would only allow me to edit frames in blocks of 1 50th of a second. This means that I was editing a single frame at a time. As you can see, I chose to line up the tips of the black aluminum rails in the video along the horizontal and vertical green dash lines. That ensured that I could only zoom into one area of the video at that particular position. Here is the reduced camera shake video. Okay, what I wanted to show you in the video is that it is actually possible to manually edit out all the camera shakes, maybe reduce it to a greater degree, it, maybe if you can't remove it completely, depending on how severe your camera shake is. But at the end of the day, if uh, people like Filmora and other video editing software give you the option to zoom in and say, okay, this is the area that I want to stabilize, and uh, automatically do all the editing for you to stabilize the image and shift it 
left and right and up and down and rotate it, tilt it, right, for you. Uh, why would you need a gimbal?